is Ricky the Hitman Atten, and you're watching Lights Out. This is Lights Out, I'm Fasal Khan. We're here at the Undercard press conference for this Saturday night's Tyson Fury fight, and I'm here joined by one of the fighters who will be fighting on that card. Nathan Gorman takes on big sexy Sean Turner. Nathan, how are you doing today? Very well, how are you? Uh, good, thank you. Um, that was entertaining, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, Sean. there's no harm in a bit of tongue and cheek, is it, at the yeah. end of the day? You, you, it, you, it's about it, isn't it? You seem to um, handle it pretty well. Um, yeah. Did you at all by any chance get under your skin or did you actually did you expect that? Well, sticks and stones break bones, don't they? But words mm -hmm. never gonna hurt you at the end of the day. I was expecting this. Yeah. But like I said before, it's all, it's all good build up for the fight, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Talk to me a bit about Sean Turner, what he bring to the table. What type of fight do you expect and how much do you rate him as, in a, as a fighter? To be fair, all the talk on the side, you know, he's actually a good fighter. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's lost a higher tier, like you said, against Hadjavik and etc. But he's a good fighter, you know, I expect it to be a good fight. I expect it to bring the best out of me, like Ricky said. <laughs> we've said it since day one, since we took the fight, you know, we've took this fight because it is going to bring the best out of me, and I fully believe that. Yeah. Oh, do you think it's going to be your toughest test yet? Possibly. Yeah. Possibly, it could be, yeah. What type of fight are you expecting on Saturday? Do you think it'll be a brawl? Do you think it'll be a scrap? Or do you think boxing. No, uh, I don't want to get, you know, uh, obviously if he gets into a brawl, he gets into a brawl. There's no harm in a brawl. Uh, yeah. But I'm just going out there do what I've done in the gym and what I've been doing in the gym, I've been flying, if I can bring it in Saturday night, you know, I'll be laughing. Obviously you're fighting in front of your home crowd at the MEN Arena, is that like an extra buzz and extra motivation for you? Yeah, definitely, you know, I've sold a lot of tickets for this fight, you know, so I've got, I've got a hell of a lot of supporters coming down, so it gives me an extra buzz, you know, to put a better performance for them. Yeah, of course, you know, in boxing it's all about process, it's all about taking each fight at a time, but 2018 is promising to be a big year for all the upcoming heavyweights, such as Daniel Dubois, you've got Joe Joyce coming up, big baby Jerry Miller, they've all got their own aspirations. What's your your aspiration, your aim for this year in Hopefully get past, you know, um, Saturday first, get mm -hmm. Sean out of the way, then uh, yeah. hopefully get a British title by the end of the year. That's, yeah. that's my aim anyway. The, you've probably been asked this question millions of times about, you know, a fellow heavyweight in Daniel Dubois. I know you guys have sparred hundreds of rounds yeah. with each other. First of all, your take on Daniel Dubois so far in his career? Yeah, I'd take him on, yeah. yeah. Take him on tomorrow, to be fair. Mm. You know, there's no one, I know him better than anyone, vice yeah. versa. You know what I mean? So I know exactly what he brings to the table and what, what he what he likes doing and what he doesn't like doing. Yeah. <laughs> what is it about that fight that, why why is it such an anticipated fight? Why is it a fight that everybody wants to see? What's the excitement behind the fight? I think because, obviously, because where we know each other, we've done two, three hundred rounds together. We was on the GB team, we went through the England team together. Yeah. And I think people want to see it because we're both exciting fighters, mm -hmm. you know. And what me and him will bring, it'll be, it'll be an exceptional fight. And yeah. I think I can understand why the British probably want to see it. Mm -hmm. Myself, I want it as well. Yeah. I'd imagine the bars can't do as well. He fights Tom Little on the 23rd yeah. of June. You know Tom Little a bit yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What type of fight do you think we're going to see on the 23rd of June? Do you know, you know something? This is the truth. You know, a lot of people's writing off Tom, but I've been watching him spy, you know. Mm -hmm. And what Daniel hates is movement. And Tom's yeah. got good movement. And he's looking, he's looking well in training, so. He's a dark horse. I know. I know. Um, People are writing them off, but they shouldn't. Mm -hmm. He's capable of beating, winning this fight. Yeah, truthfully. So, let's say if Tom Little was to come out on top on the 23rd of June, is that a fight you might be interested in? Yeah, you never know in boxing. If it gets made, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's more than things. Yeah. But whatever my management team offer me, I'll fight. Yeah, I know. Obviously, I've asked you who you fancy next. Um, yeah. There's a guy out there watching an interview from today. Um, Del Boy Derek Chisora. Yeah. He's been around the block. He's been in the ring with some of the boxing greats of our time yeah. so far. Take on Derek Chisora, and is that? A possibility that you might yeah, look at? possibility. You know, next you know, within this probably this year or next next year. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, another good fight there again. You know, yeah. you can mention loads of loads of good names domestically. You know, you have to go worldwide for the heavyweight boxing. You know, it's, yeah. it's booming at the minute. To be fair, isn't it? Yeah. I mentioned you're on the uh, Tyson Fury on the card. Tyson Fury returns. Yeah. First of all, your relationship with Tyson Fury. How long have you known him? Yeah, I've known him for a fair bit. Um, we're, we're, we're related down line. My mum and his dad are cousins, so we're okay. related. Um, been so watching the gym. like a bit of yeah, a yeah, yeah. blood relation there. He come back into the gym at 28 stone. He's mm -hmm. now sitting at 19, so he's lost yeah. nine stones. That's an accomplishment by itself, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And no jokes, mate. I wouldn't lie. I'm not being biased. He's better than ever. Do you think Tyson Fury has what it takes to become the world champion again and to rule the heavyweight division? Without a doubt. From what I've seen, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Truthfully. What's? Uh, what, uh, tell me, like, how excited are you to see him fight on Saturday night, and how Very excited exciting. should boxing be to see him back in the boxing ring? As a fan itself, you know, because I'm a fan of him. Mm -hmm. As a fan, I'm very excited to see him back doing what he does best. Yeah. Behind the scenes in boxing, obviously, you know um, A to Z. What do you think of the change in trainer from his uncle Peter to Ben Davison? 
the end of the day, some people need change, don't they? Uh, props Tyson Foy was time to change, you know, yeah. the props, they, they get on, don't they, him and Ben, so they, they gel well, so at mm. the end of the day, you don't, know, you don't know the circumstances and that, but some people need a change. Um, so staying on the heavyweight division, another big fight was announced earlier this morning, Joseph Parker very, versus Dinia White. Very good fight, that is. What type of a fight are we going to get, and I what's your prediction I, for it? I think it's going to, truthfully, I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up a draw, truthfully, I think it's going to be one of them fights, I think it's going to be all action. Mm -hmm. I think so. I've been speaking to a few people this week about um, a certain topic in boxing, drugs in boxing. I want to get your take on something. If a fighter was caught using drugs, you know, using drugs to enhance his performance, what do you think the punishment should be personally? Truthfully, banned yeah. for life. Really? I think so, because no disrespect, you're not playing football, eh? you, you, you're fighting, it's put lives at stake. And if you're, yeah. if you're taking performance strokes, you know, you're putting someone's life and family at, at danger there in you, so mm -hmm. you should be banned for life. Obviously, of course, if it, was, um, if it was done on purpose, if it was done accidentally, but you're saying no matter what, a fighter that's using drugs should be banned should be, for life. Yeah, should be. Yeah, I agree. I fully agree with that. What type of... Uh, what do you think that says to the younger generation coming up in boxing, seeing fighters such as Canelo and other fighters using Some drugs? Some boxers will use it, wouldn't they? Because they think, oh, if they're using them, I'll try them. Yeah. But they shouldn't, definitely not, because you, you can kill someone doing that. Mm -hmm. One well, final question, prediction for Saturday night, what happens when you get in the ring with Big Sexy Sean Turner? I'll beat him. How are you going to beat him? Beat him comfortably. <laughs> what round? First day. <laughs> <laughs> First round knockout and then comfortably going to back and yeah. watch Tyson get in the ring. That's the one mate, hopefully. Well listen Nathan, I've spoken to you a few times, good luck for Saturday Thank night, you. good luck for 2018. Cheers mate. And we hope to catch up with you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Nice one.